Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Jet Appointment and how to set up a simple booking form on your website. So there's a lot of different booking systems out there for WordPress or even third-party booking systems. But I would say the main advantage of Jet Appointment is that it's an Elementor add-on. So that means on your Elementor website, you're going to be able to customize pretty much everything to fit your existing branding and your website functionality. So you're not going to have to embed, you know, one of those ugly iframe booking systems where the styling and uh, the branding is completely different than your website. With this plugin, you're going to be able to customize pretty much, like I said, every component on your booking system to fit your branding. So if you jump over to the Crocoblock website under products, Jet Appointment, they have a really good landing page here with a lot of information on the functionality, how to install it. And if you look down here, they have some really good demos. So if you keep scrolling down here, they have some good live demos right here. So they have a spa, barbershop, doctors. So if you click on this button right here, view demo, it will jump over to a demo website and you can test out the functionality of Jet Appointment on those demo websites. And if it fits your use case, I highly recommend purchasing the plugin. So as you can see, this also integrates with WooCommerce. So that means you can book the appointment and then right afterwards, the user will be able to pay for the service right on your website. So you don't have to have them jump to a third party website or anything like that. You can integrate it all within your WordPress and WooCommerce website. So if you jump down here, you can see how you can actually save a lot of money by using Jet Appointment compared to alternatives. So they you know, have a big checklist here. So they have these other uh, services up here that can cost a lot more. So the way that this plugin works is you will need to purchase the plugin Jet Appointment. And it also needs, if you go up here, um, you will need Jet Engine, which is another plugin. So right here. So if you're ever on this website, Crocoblock, and you see this, you want to make sure that you're purchasing the correct plugins. Or you could buy the all-inclusive, which has every plugin, and you don't have to worry about it. So in this case, you will need Jet Engine to work with Jet Appointment. So if I go up here to pricing, you can see that it makes a lot more sense if you just buy this all-inclusive. Because if you buy... Um, let me see, Jet Appointment, that's 19. And then if you jump down to Jet Engine, that's 26 a year. But the problem is you're gonna wanna use a lot of these other features in Crocoblock because it can integrate really well with your Elementor website. So I highly recommend using the all-inclusive. You could purchase it per year or if you want and you know you're gonna use a lot of their services, just buy the lifetime. That's what we did and it's working out really well for us. So now let's just jump right into the tutorial. And in this example, all I have on this website is Elementor, Elementor Pro. We got the Jet Appointments and that other uh, plugin called Jet Engine, which is what's gonna be one of the most important aspects of this plugin. So you wanna make sure that you have these plugins installed to follow this tutorial. The first step we need to do before we jump into the Jet Appointments uh, settings is we need to actually set up custom post types for the services. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Under Jet Engine, if you click on post types right here, what we're going to need to do is add a post type over here called services. And I'm just going to add a few core services that you know we offer at Wikidesign as an example because you need to have the services done first before you can actually set up the Jet Appointments. So let's just go ahead and do a simple one just called services. So if I just type in services, that's it. I'm gonna keep everything as default. Um, in a different tutorial, I'll go over how to set up all of this stuff, but this will work just by clicking post types, adding services or whatever you wanna have it called on your website and just click add post type. So now if you go under here, you're gonna see a button called services. And underneath here, let's just add a few core services, like I said. So let's do web design. Just hit publish. Add another one. Just click add new. Let's add uh, branding. Publish. And let's just do one more called SEO audit. Okay. So now if you click on services, we have SEO audit, branding, and web design. This is needed because when the user is selecting um, an appointment, they need to be able to select a service. And so if you don't have the services done first, Jet Appointments isn't going to work correctly. So now let's just jump into how to set up Jet Appointments. Now we can jump over to Jet Appointments and start the setup wizard. 
once you're at jet appointment setup, if this is your first time, the screen will look like this. And so what it's going to do is walk you through four different steps to get everything connected correctly. And then we'll be able to do some testing and insert on the page. So the first thing right here is the services post type. So that's why we needed to go ahead and add the services um, like we just did in the past uh, step. So the very first thing we need to do is go down here and select services. So whatever you put in under jet engine, it's going to be right here. So in this case, it was just called services. Just click that. We're not going to add providers to this tutorial because I want to keep it a little bit shorter. But if you would like a longer tutorial on this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll consider making a more advanced involved uh, tutorial on JET appointments. So we can just click next on this and we don't need to do anything here. We're going to keep this very simple. But all this is, is if you need to add additional columns or, you know, fields, you could do that during the setup process. But in this example, let's just keep it really simple. And if you go right here under the booking schedule, this is where you can set up all of your time slots, your hours, your days off. So let's go ahead first and I'm not used to military time. So let's go ahead and just add, you know, one to 2 PM like that. You can change any of these other settings right here. They're very simple to understand. So we have the duration is 30 minutes. You can do before and after. Um, the main thing is you want to make sure that your work hours are accurate. So, eight to 1700, you could add it right here. They give you a lot of flexibility. And what's good is you can always come in here later and add more days off. You can add holidays, anything along those lines. But like I said, I wanna keep this tutorial a little bit shorter. So let's just click next. And we don't have WooCommerce installed on here, but this is where you would add WooCommerce if you need to. So you can keep these two buttons on. Basically what this is gonna do is give you the ability to add the form to your services pages if you want or in this case, we're just gonna use this one right here called the static page. So this means that we can have the booking system on any page on the website and the user will be able to select the services. So in this example, we're just gonna to stick to the static page. So let's just click finish. And now what it's doing is it's adding um, the different forms that you need that are gonna to connect to JET appointments. So you can see right here, it created these two forms and this is the post type called services. Now, if we jump over into Jet Engine under Forms, you're gonna see these two different forms were added right here. So if I just open one of these up right here, this is the one we're gonna be working with called Static Page Booking Form. So if you haven't used Jet Engine's Form Builder, it's a really powerful way to build complex forms. Um, I'm gonna actually do a tutorial in the future on how to create really complex forms using this plugin. So Jet Appointments basically just create a really simple form and then it inserts the appointment into your calendar. And let's just go over some of these settings right here. And if you look right here, you could click on any of these pencils to edit any of these uh, field names or anything like that. But let's just keep everything, like I said, default. Let's keep it as simple as possible. Now we're gonna add this form to a static page and I'm gonna show you how you can style it up and let's do some testing. So here we are on an Elementor page and to add that form, you just type in the word form right here and you wanna click this one right here. If you click and drag that in, that's gonna bring in the jet engine forms. And if you see right here, select form, the name of this form is static page booking form. So like I said, this is going to be at any page you can have this installed and it's gonna automatically add it to your calendar and the user will be able to select the services as you can see right here. And that's it. We have now officially added a booking system to our website. So I told you that this is a very quick, simple way to add it. And let's just do some testing to make sure everything is working. So if I click preview, I'll take this off right here. And let's say we wanna have an SEO audit on the 30th. And you can see it opens up the time slots right here at 11.30, I select that. Just type in my username, marketwikidesign.com, and book now. And that's it, we've officially made an appointment on our website. So now I'm gonna show you where these entries go and how to get these actually emailed to the admin or anybody that you would like so that they know that there's an appointment that has been made on the website. So if you jump back over into appointments and then if you click this appointments button right here, you can see right here, the one I just created an SEO audit, uh, you could click right here, the edit button, you could see it's 11.30 to 12, here's my email and pending payment, processing, on hold, complete. You can have this do anything when it's submitted, but in the example, it's just pending payment. 
So what's nice is if you have an admin or somebody managing your booking systems, they can just keep this open at a calendar view so it's easier to see all the appointments for one day. Or you could do the timeline where you could see the day right here and you can just have them scroll. So let's go to the 30th and you could see right here, this time slot has this user that had an appointment. So there's a couple of different ways that you can, uh, you know, see the different appointments. You can go up here under service and select just the appointments that you want to see. So they keep it really easy to, you know, go ahead and filter these things out, which is a really nice feature. Now I'm going to show you how you can add a email notification. So when somebody does book an appointment, somebody will actually receive an email with some information in there. So they know that they can go in here and check the appointments. So to do that, you just jump back over into jet engine, the forms select in this case, the static page booking form and underneath here where it says notification settings, you can see by default, Jet Appointment has added this one called Insert Appointment. So it's just going to insert these fields into the appointments, which we already saw. But what's great about this um, Jet Engine form builder is you can add multiple notifications. So if we just click this button right here, Add Notification, by default it goes to Send Mail. And as you can see, there's a tons of you know really powerful things you can do with this form builder. But in this case, let's just choose Send Email and scroll down here. You can do the admin emails, whatever the admin of WordPress is, but let's just go in here and add in uh, my email, market wiki design. You can, you know, select these if you would want, change the subject. I'm just going to kind of keep everything default, but this is where you need to go ahead and add these um, micros right down here. And as you can see, they have the service title, they have like start date, end date. So since our form was really simple, I'm just going to add the following macros right here. So the way to do this is I just typed in service title and then you take this code right here, just paste it in there. So as you can see, I just did service title, start time, end time. And I also added the user email right here, which I got from right over here. So this might look a little intimidating, but it's really simple. They give you information on what each one of these uh, macros do. So it's pretty simple. So once you add that, just click apply changes, update, now let's jump over into our form again and let's add another service. This time let's do web design on the 29th at 10. And let's do a different email info at wikidesign.com book. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what the email looks like when it comes through. And here's what the email looks like with these different macros. So you can see right here, we have the title, which was the web design service. We got the start time, the end time and the user email. So it's a very simple way to just alert somebody when an appointment has been booked. And let's jump back over into here, make sure that the appointment was added correctly. And yep, you can see right here, web design, info at, we got the start times, end times, works perfectly. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the great thing about a plugin like Jet Appointment is that you can style it up pretty much any way you want to fit your existing uh, website's branding. So I'll give you a quick overview of all the different, you know, configurations and styling you could do within here. And so if you click on the form widget that we brought in, and if you look underneath here, there's tons of ways that you can customize every single aspect of this uh, form. So as you can see, you could add different spacing between here, change the label sizes. You know, I won't go into every single thing you can do, but yeah, pretty much anything that you want to customize, you can do that right here. And the good thing is that you can actually do it within the editor here and see the changes happen in real time. So a common thing, for example, is having a background color on these time slots because it's kind of hard to understand, you know, from a user perspective, what to do here. So if you go under appointment calendar, for example, and you know, you can change the width of it right here. Let's just change that to hundred percent. So as you can see, it's going to stretch all the way across. And if you go down here where it says slots, this is where you're going to change the color background color. So let's have it where it goes to like a blue color. And you can see already that that makes it a big difference. You can add uh, a white here so you can see here. So you can see you can add some padding around those buttons so they can be bigger, smaller, whatever it may be. And they also have an active state. So if you select one, you want to have a different color background. That's 
doable too. So let's say we want to have black. So when you select one, you can see right here, you can change this to fit your you know colors for your website. And if for some reason you're having issues with you know buttons not styling up correctly or anything like that, you could jump back over into the site settings right here. And it could be a global setting. So if you go under buttons, you can see right here that the background color we can change to, uh, I don't know, a blue and the text color to a white. So this is basically at a theme level. Uh, this is just using the generic uh, Hello Elementor theme and you can change the settings right here. It's a lot easier to just globally have all of your buttons styled at the template level rather than go ahead and you know edit it in every single widget so just something to point out in case you're having issues with styling up certain things so if we jump back over into the widget here you can see that there's a few other things you can do um, under content uh, the biggest one is when you submit it do you want it to refresh the page or just have it do ajax so if you do ajax it's just going to automatically update here and the user's not going to have to wait for the page to reload. So let me do a quick example. So if I go branding, 28th, boom. Let's do look at wiki. You're gonna notice up here the URL is not gonna change at all. So as you can see, it just refresh the page without actually changing the URL structure or anything like that. So I recommend having Ajax if you can. Uh, troubleshoot, make sure it works correctly on your website. And that's it for this video. If you would like me to create a more advanced JET appointment plugin, let me know in the description below and I'll consider making that in the future. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Thanks again. This is Mark from Wiki Design.